So what we're gonna try to do is remove the uh, this whole entire chassis off of the uh, body because we wanna we wanna refurbish this uh, frame and we're gonna have to reweld it this uh, part right here because it's it's like angled like this and it's already it's bent so much that it's hitting right here and it's causing this to push in and out right here. heavily rusted we're gonna go and refurbish the whole camper all all of it inside and out we brought it from uh, Oregon back down here to uh, San Jose California But it does need a, quite a bit of work. Eventually we're gonna flip flip those around so we can get a little bit more clearance. Oh, look at this, super rusty. Flaky. Look at this, it was pulled from underneath a, uh, kind of like a carport, but out in the dirt. And so there was a whole bunch of vines growing underneath it. So in order to remove the body, we're going to have to disconnect these uh, gas line and those uh, bolts. There's one in each corner. This side. <clears throat> it's right there. Clear water tank. We're gonna have to cut that pipe, I believe. Just so we can remove the cabin. And then one of these, I think this piece is cracked down there. We have to repair that. It'd just be a lot easier if we uh, get the chassis off, pull out from this my body and then we can just clean up the all that rust and give it a good paint job. Here's the inside. We got the cushions out there. But everything's pretty much here. We know this works. Bridge. Honestly, we don't know. I don't think it. Maybe it doesn't work, but it's on electric right now. We just turned it on, and we're gonna see if it gets cold. This is the B19 model, so you get more of this pantry space over here. That's what I like about a dual, dual axle. You got a closet. Got all the space here. You'll probably maybe even put like a microwave here or something. All of this comes down, and then you could almost have like a mini bunk bed. But everything's here, everything's all original. Look at all that storage. Oh look, so I ripped off the, uh, the carpet here and then that's how you access it from the inside. Uh, the bolt there for the uh, frame. On this side, <coughs> here's how the carpet looks. I had it just, I ripped off that piece, but it's right there. down there in the, in the carpeted area. There's a the water tank. Oh, and so the one in the corner over here, I 
can actually access it from in here. Rip up the carpet, and it's right there. Look at that. Because I have to cut it over there. I should probably dump some of this out. Oh, it's gonna be nasty. <laughs> Oh. You know what's part? It's probably empty then. Holy cow. Alright, so here's the thing. There is there's a bolt there to attach the frame, another bolt underneath there, but then there's also a big like a sheet metal screw that goes into the frame as well. Another one over there. So that's two and two. Um in there there was one there, the bolt, and then there was the uh, cheap metal screw right there as well. Same thing on that corner, but from the outside where you can access the plumbing. And it was, still wasn't dropping. The frame wasn't dropping still. And we found out there's another one right here. You had to cut, cut open the carpet. And you can see it right there. And they're really seized in there. So what we're going to use is essentially our impact and one of these um, flexible right angle attachments. So you see there is where I removed the bolt or that, um, that screw that was into the frame. But... There's another one over here on this side, too. Right there, you can hear it. And so I'll be checking the other ones. I'm gonna have to replace this eventually because it's so cracked. But anyways, now we can remove this guy. So you have to remove the perimeter and these kind of stay in place. Because there's a whole piece of, there's a piece of wood underneath. And the wheel well is underneath so you can't access to remove these. So it all has to come out as a whole entire unit. <laughs> okay, so there's... There's that one screw that you have to remove right there. This one, I already removed it. But there's another one in the front. Look at it. It's like underneath all that. So 
we're gonna have to investigate a little bit further how we can access it. All right, so recap, there's a bolt and a screw holding it into the frame in that corner. There's a bolt and screw in that corner. In front of the wheel well in here, you can access it through this. There's another a screw that they remove there. There's a screw right here. And then there's another one right under there. But it's really tricky to get to. I can kind of see I removed some of the carpet. It's underneath here. It's basically where that dot is. All right, so look at that. think so let's let's cut up let's cut open this I, I feel like there might be another one coming right there look there's the washer right there so we have to cut wood like this probably a slit 